The Starfield modding community is hard at work, and so today we're covering a handful of mods that are really amazing. Some of them are awesome quality of life mods, and then we have some absolutely essential mods that completely change your whole experience. I'll have timestamps in the description as well as links to each of the mods and some helpful advice for setting things up. Before we get into the list, since a lot of people are just getting into modding for the first time, I want to briefly cover something that I've seen a lot of confusion about. I made a video recently about how to change your FOV in Starfield without any mods, and instead just using a simple INI file. I saw some comments on the video as well as on Nexus mods that seem to be having trouble with things like this. Now this goes for both the Game Pass version and the Steam version. You need to make sure your file extensions are enabled on Windows. If you don't have these enabled, you won't actually be able to see the current extension name. And when you go to type in the .ini extension or extension for other mods, it's only going to change the name, not the actual file. The option, at least on Windows 10, to enable this is under the View section of your File Explorer. I'm not sure if they moved it around in Windows 11, but if so, just Google where they put it. If you have file extensions enabled, you are all set to go. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's start with one of the best mods available right now, which is the Achievement Enabler mod, created by BrunPH. Bethesda has made it so that if you add even simple mods to like reshade your game or change the UI for example, your save ends up being marked as modded and well that means you won't really be able to earn any achievements. As the name implies, the achievement enabler prevents that, allowing you to install any mods you'd like and use console commands while keeping your save intact. I would highly recommend downloading this before you download anything else from this video, unless of course you don't actually care about achievements, then I guess it doesn't matter. Excellent work though, BrunPH. Next up, we're diving into some user interface changes, starting with the Star UI Inventory mod, created by M8R98A4G2. This mod brings some much needed restructuring to the inventory menu by squishing everything down and making it a lot easier to see all of your items. The mod takes advantage of the extra space to display more information on the screen, such as mass, value, ammo, and you can actually sort by these columns as well, which I really love. The items have an associated icon to show what category they're from. The scroll bar has been increased so you can actually use it now. And each category now displays the total mass of all the items in that category. So you can immediately see what's weighing you down the most. The mod also has extra configurable options in the INI file such as font, extra info columns, and an option to make the tab button go directly back to the game instead of the character screen. It really feels like this mod is how the inventory always should have been. Very easy mod to install. The one issue I seem to have is that my font has changed from the default font on the main inventory screen. Personally, I don't mind it at all, and I think this is actually an error on my end, as I haven't seen a bunch of complaints or anything about this. And the mod does come with different font options, so maybe I'll just have to mess with it a little and it'll fix itself. But otherwise, great job on this mod. This one is awesome. I also wanted to give a shout out to Stentorius's Compact Inventory UI mod, which does something similar except it's not as compact and doesn't quite have as many features. But if you're not a fan of the earlier super compact version I just showed, you might like this one since it's a nice middle ground between the original UI and the star UI. The next mod goes right along with our last one, this is the Compact Mission UI, also by Stentorius, another awesome quality of life mod for the mission section of Starfield's user interface. It does exactly what it says it does, showing you 50% more missions on the screen, so that means a lot less scrolling, and it also lowers the opacity of quests that you've already completed, which is nice. Seriously, another great mod, and definitely worth picking up. Next up on the list is a mod that really speeds up the responsiveness of menu navigation by getting rid of some of the unnecessary effects and increasing the frame rate of several different menus in the game. This mod is called the Undelayed Menus, created by Seb263. In their default state, the menus can feel laggy and slow, and this mod majorly improves that. That really long fading effect that happens when you open and close menus has been removed, the press and exit buttons now execute twice as fast, and you have a choice of the menus running at 60 or even 120 frames per second. This is a game changer, it feels so much better after this mod. And earlier today, Seb actually just released a patch that allows this mod to work with the Star UI Inventory mod I mentioned earlier. So if you want those nice compact menus, and also for them to run really fast, you can use both those together. Shout out to Seb for that awesome mod and the quick patch. Alright, so this mod has completely altered the game forever for me. This is the Neutral Lutz No Color Filters mod by Fading Signal. 
If you played any of Starfield or have watched gameplay, you may have noticed some areas have really strong filters on them. Strong yellow filters in your ship, strong green filters on planets or settlements, and even strong blue filters in space. This mod removes those filters and replaces them with Starfield's own neutral color LUT, giving you a more uniform, neutral color palette across the game with significantly deeper blacks, which from what I've heard look absolutely insane on OLED TVs and monitors. At first, I didn't think the filters in the game looked that bad, and in certain areas they do add some atmosphere a little bit, but after removing them, I can never go back. With this mod, you also have the option of removing specific filters if you like some, but not others, which is pretty cool. The creator fading signal says that they're also working on a light version that only tweaks some of the hard to see areas, so they can retain the vibe of the exterior planets, which some people might find preferable. But even just with this mod so far, the game looks seriously incredible. Last but not least, I've got a few mods here that I've been using and I feel like they deserve to be mentioned. Stuff I just want to give a shout out to. First is the Better HUD mod by Kaumat. This mod has a whole bunch of versions for things like moving the location of the XP indicator, moving the location of the discovered a new location pop-up, disabling enemy health bars and hit markers, adding the option for a dot crosshair, etc. This mod is great. I use it and I love the location and the XP tweaks a lot since they're no longer directly in the middle of my screen and to me that makes a big difference. Second is the Quick and Clean main menu by Kratox, which gets rid of the Bethesda logo, the welcome window, and the health text, making it look super clean. And lastly, I want to highlight the More Subtle Scanner Sounds mod by Dylan James, which replaces some of the scanner sounds with some similar ones that are way less high-pitched, which is actually something that has bothered me in the game and legitimately hurts my ears. Like sometimes when you pull up that scanner, it makes a really high pitched noise and it hurts. The creator says they're taking their time to replace a lot of the high pitched sounds in game, so it's not complete yet, and I would definitely recommend checking this mod page frequently for updates. Those are just some of the great mods that have been released in the first week of the game and I can't wait to see what people will do in the future. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to catch updates on more mods as they come out. And hey, if you downloaded any of the mods from this video, please go say thank you to the creators for their hard work. I'll see you in the next one.